launch team was ready to go. This is Atlas Mission Control, live from Cape Canaveral, making final preparations for liftoff. Atlas Systems Propulsion, go. Hydraulics, go. Pneumatics, go. Hello 2, go. Vehicle Electrical, go. Late Termination System, go. Melon Utilization, go. Center Systems Propulsion. At Cape Canaveral, some long-cherished assumptions about U.S. space technology could very soon be rewritten. For the first time ever, an American rocket is scheduled to blast into space, powered by a Russian rocket engine. Go. Electrical. Go. Light control. Go. PCLS monitor. Go. Light termination system. Go. Telemetry. Go. RF. Go. Complex systems instrumentation. We thought maybe we misunderstood each other. The performance of the engines were probably 10 to 15 percent higher than what we had in the United States. Go. Launcher. Go. Water. Go. Complex electrical. Go. Now monitor vehicle loads. Go. It wasn't the same technology we were used to. It was a, it was a paradigm shift in what what uh, we were expecting. Hello 2. Ready. LH2. Ready. Vehicle electrical. Ready. Light control. Ready. Atlas systems propulsion. Ready. Hydraulics. Ready. Hello 2. Ready. Vehicle electrical. Ready. This is Atlas Mission Control as he minus five, four, three, two. Atlas mission controllers take their places for the countdown. With the launch of this new rocket, Russian rocket engine technology will finally have come in from the cold. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, and right now holding at 60 percent chance of no go at the beginning of the window. However, improving conditions as we approach the uh, second half of the window. Energomash's team will be able to monitor the engine's performance from their own control room for the duration of its three-minute burn. Spacecraft on internal power. Roger. Ready to report to resume countdown. Atlas systems propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. Hello 2. Go. Vehicle electrical. Go. Light termination system. Go. Electrical. Go. Allen monitor vehicle loads. Go. TV control. Go. Operation Ten years after the end of the Cold War, old-fashioned hands-on Russian engineering is about to teach American high technology an uncomfortable lesson. This is Atlas Mission Control at C-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and the RD-180 engine roars to life and lift off. The idea that, that the technology in the United States was not equal or superior to the Russians was a very hard pill for a lot of people to swallow. It was very difficult to tell somebody in the uh, government that all this money that they put into it really, there was still a technology edge over in Russia over what we have here. Everything looks good there. We have stopped loose phase chilled on right on time. 